Okay, President Trump has just tweeted moments ago, and it is about our big story of this morning. So he tweets, what kind of lawyer would tape a client? So sad. Is this a first? Never heard of it before. Why was the tape so abruptly terminated? Cut while I was presumably saying positive things. I hear there are other clients and many reporters that are taped. Can this be so? Too bad. Exclamation point. Okay. He is referring, of course, to CNN's exclusive, where there is a secret audio recording there was between Michael Cohen, Donald Trump's longtime attorney, and Donald Trump. So and it's, it, they were basically talking about squashing the story of this uh, Playboy model who had alleged an affair with Donald Trump. So the president, we have his attention. He has been tweeting about this. It's on his mind. Let's bring in CNN's Chris Eliza joining us now. So let's diagram this tweet. What kind of lawyer would tape a client? Your kind. The kind that you used for many, many years. That's one. Well, he says, well, I was presumably saying something positive. About what? About whom? About paying off Har AMI to buy the Kerry McDougal story? Uh, positive? Hard to know. Chris Eliza, your thoughts? Uh, <clears throat> As always, a Donald Trump tweet contains multitudes. Um, I think, look, he's trying to do a few things here. One is stoke a little bit of a conspiracy theory by saying, why did the tape cut off so abruptly, right? So that's saying there's more there, and I was, I was actually saying a lot of good things. That's not the point. Let's remember here that Donald Trump's campaign, I know you guys uh, showed it earlier, Hope Hicks on November 4th said, we know nothing about this, and Donald Trump denies the affair. So why in September, two months before, was he on the phone with Michael Cohen discussing Because he's trying setting... to squash it. We know this. Right. He doesn't want the public to know he was having an affair. We get that. That part, that part I think, makes sense. A lot of presidential candidates don't want you to know about an affair. True. But... It's that the people around him were, felt they could say something so definitive Yep. when Ooh. most of the American public, this did <clears throat> not come as a surprise to them. I mean, I, my guess is they either didn't ask him or if they did ask him, he didn't tell them the truth. Uh, again, I, I think the big story here is the fact that you now have Michael Cohen has now flipped on Donald Trump, whether or yeah, not yeah. he's agreed to sort of a legal deal, which he has not yet. But this suggests uh, between the tape being provided to CNN uh, by Lanny Davis, Cohen's new lawyer, or the Lanny Davis interview with uh, Chris uh, Cuomo last night, it all suggests a level of aggressiveness, a level of anti-Donald Trumpness that we have not seen before. And that going forward is problematic for Donald Trump because, as you mentioned, Allison, this is the guy who fixed the problems for Donald Trump, like the ones we've heard about, Stormy Daniels, Karen McDougal, that no one else wanted to fix, which means, figuratively speaking, he knows where the bodies are buried here. Uh, and that is concerning for Donald Trump, if not legally speaking, we don't know that yet, certainly concerning for him from sort of an embarrassment perspective or public image perspective. So we do not know if there is a legal official flip, a capital F in right. this case, as you were referring to, but there was certainly a lowercase F, a lowercase flip from Michael Cohen here, and now we have a flip from President Trump as well. So sad, exclamation point, too bad, exclamation point. Those are in some ways are the ultimate insults yeah. uh, for, from President Trump here. He's all in now against Michael Cohen, and he's poking the bear. So he's poking the bear. He's poking Michael Cohen. Michael Cohen's lawyer says there might be more tapes out mm -hmm. there. We don't know. We don't know. We, we don't know if there's more out there. We Didn't do they know. confirm that there were other? There, there we know were, there, there are well, we 11 there tapes are out there. there we just more. don't know if they're Trump and Cohen. Exactly. Right. Oh. Exactly. So we oh. don't know if there is more that involves the president. Lanny Davis suggests there is more that the president would be interested in. We will see. We will see at this point, and we will see how Michael Cohen handles it. What we do know is on the tape that we have now all heard, there is the phrase from Michael Cohen, all the stuff. All. Yeah. The stuff indicating there's maybe more than Karen McDougal that the hundred and fifty thousand dollars that the president raised the possibility of paying might cover. I also think too, uh, John. There's some evidence, and again, the, the tape is not the easiest listen in the world, and that the quality isn't great uh, because it was being secretly recorded. Uh, but there is some evidence of a pattern of behavior here. What do we know about the Stormy Daniels situation, which uh, we know more about than the Karen McDougal one? In the Stormy Daniels situation, Michael Cohen set up an LLC uh, <coughs> in which he, a private company, in which he was able to move the money 
to her without any names or fingerprints attached to it. In that tape, in that the, the McDougal tape that you're referencing there, John, I'm going to have to set up a company to handle all this stuff. That sounds quite familiar to what we know was Michael Cohen and Donald mm. Trump's M.O. on all this. I, big picture, I don't know if it matters amazingly enough. Well, it's not look, as though people voted for Donald Trump because they thought he was a moral paragon. I, I understand uh, that. I understand that, and it may not move the polls, but things matter even when they don't move the polls. Honesty matters even yes, if it doesn't move the polls. And, and, when, the and, lying and, matters, and right. when, the, when the president is bragging about the truth not mattering, which he did yesterday, yep. I, I think that matters too. And just one last sort of dissection of this statement, when he says he was cut off before presumably saying something positive, I don't understand what that could be. Because what is on this tape is the president right. discussing this payoff, yeah, that, which which contradicts right. what the campaign that, is. That part makes no sense. But it's, I think that, hold on, hold that thought, because I think sure. you'll want to comment on this, Chris Eliza. I think what you're getting at, the larger picture, which is encapsulated in what the president said yesterday, what you are seeing and what you are reading is not what's happening. Yeah. And so it is that never-ending effort to hypnotize the American public. But I don't think that the public is easily hypnotized when they see something with their own eyes and hear something with their own ears as they did in Helsinki when he stood next to Vladimir Putin. But this is clearly the effort by the president to say, you can't believe any of this even when it's my own words. Quickly, Chris. That is exactly right. Uh, it's kind of an unreality show that Donald Trump is now pushing. I thought the comment yesterday was remarkable. I'm actually gonna write about it today. The, the point is, do focus, if you're, if you're going to uh, highlight something, do focus on that. It was cut and I said a lot of positive things. John's right. There's no relevance because what he said before is the key, but he is opening up that conspiracy mm -hmm. theory possibility that something odd, something nefarious is here that's being targeted against me, even if there's no evidence for it. That's why that's in there to talk to his supporters who believe whatever he says. Chris Elizabeth with the bottom line, John's right is what I heard there. That's exactly <laughs> it. Just cut that. You hear that play a lot. It. Play it on a loop. Yeah. Thank you very much, Chris. Thanks, y'all.